Welcome, Clipper Nation and fellow NBA fans. I am Michael Matthew, here with your favorite show, The Full Clip, Clippers Unleashed. Everything you need, Clippers, we got you covered here from courtside to press conferences now to this weekly show. And of course, I am never alone. I got my guy, Beef here. What's the deal, Beef? What's going on? What's going on, man? So, hey, Clipper Nation, they, they, they need this, you know. The Lakers got so much. You got so many podcasts, radio shows, shows. But the Clipper Nation don't got enough. So we're here to provide you that here at, you know, in, in Fanny TV Studios. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you everything Clippers. And this is a perfect time to be talking to Clippers oh, yeah. because they're playing great basketball. They got the new arena coming into it there in Inglewood, uh, California. So, beef. The excitement with the Clippers, man. Well, what you feeling about your Clippers, man? You being a big time Clipper fan. I feel good about my Clippers. Uh, I feel that necessarily that they're, they're on the right track finally. Mm. Uh, but I'm not satisfied yet as a Clipper fan. A lot of people say, "Dang, why, why are you so humble? Why are you not hooping and hollering?" <laughs> Last time I was hooping and hollering, we had Blake Griffin, CP3, CP, ooh, JJ Reddick. City. You know, Lob City, right? And I was hooping and hollering because we was getting put out. The <laughs> we had three one league, so now I'm coming with a more humble approach. Okay, I know people don't want to see that, but yeah. it's gonna be a little bit but, confined to top C success. But you a little different because it's those Clipper fans out here still talking reckless, saying, "Man, we run LA now. We don't care about the Lakers. We beat them so many times in the past what five years." Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to see a humble Clipper fan. But we got to talk about um, what went down uh, this past weekend in uh, Indiana um, when you had the All Star game. Whether you liked it or not, it happened. What was your thoughts on the entire All-Star weekend? I, I'm going to break it down into segments, right? The best segment to me was, you know, Curry versus uh, Sabrina, Sabrina and, and, and cool. the three-point yeah. three shootout, right? Dame mm -hmm. in the three-point shootout. Mm -hmm. But the All-Star overall skills, dunk, and All-Star <laughs> game, okay. it, it, it was stink. And it really was just not good. And mm -hmm. I, the All-Star game by itself was watching, like, you know, a, a, a game in the park, a pickup game, or old folks playing basketball where the wheelchairs ain't going that fast. That's what I felt like I was watching in Indiana. Yeah. And even Paul George, right? I, I love Paul George. You know, he's silky smooth. He can do what he got to do. But even he pissed me off in how he <laughs> performed in Indiana. Yeah, because we talked about it last week. I was like, hey, I'm going to go out and say my dark horse for MVP. It's going to be Paul George. He's going to go out mm -hmm. there, show out. He's talking about getting his jersey retired by the Pacers. The man showed up at 13 points. Kawhi, five points. And I know, you know, Kawhi Leonard uh, was kind of, you know, he's been dealing with some injuries, so they probably were like, let's take it easy on our guy. But, you know, it's good to have the Clippers there represented at the All-Star game because I can remember many, many years ago that there weren't no Clippers in the All-Star game, especially when they were playing at the sports arena yeah. or, or, you know, the pond there in Anaheim. Oh, but, um, yeah, man, I, I think that there's a big issue when it comes to the All-Star game. I know we're a Clippers show, but, you know, the NBA, we got to talk about it because the All-Star Weekend is going to be coming in 2026 to the Intuit Man. Dome uh, where the Clippers are going to actually be able to be the host. When they were sharing the arena, you know, or how they share it now at Staples or Crypto.com Arena, you have to, to share it with the Lakers and they are partially the host. No, 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 now no. Now the Clippers no. will be for let, let me stop you right there. I don't okay. got to share nothing. <laughs> this is my time to shine, right? Yeah. I know they're trying to incorporate by saying it's the – the Los Angeles, no, no, no. It's Inglewood. Inglewood. Twenty twenty six. Inglewood it's Clippers. Inglewood, no, 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 no. no. The Inglewood Clippers don't have a ring to it. I want to change the whole team name. Okay. But it's still Los Angeles Clippers. But we located in Inglewood, California. Inglewood needs love. That's why Inglewood is doing everything in their power to make it feel yeah. home. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be in conjunction with them. Right. I got all the toilets. <laughs> I, I got the new sound system. I don't need. Yeah. You know. Crypto.com arena to help me out of them okay, purple okay. and gold to help me out. This is gonna be a clipper event, and we're gonna show the city how we get out. So, how do we get this all-star weekend to be as great as it possibly can be in 2026? The first ever all-star weekend at in into a dome, uh, with the Clippers being a full-time host and things like that. Because you mentioned, you know, I think the three-point shooting contest is great. You know, we're seeing all of it because it's great because you got Dame winning. Uh, the same guy who ended up winning the All-Star MVP mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. the 211-186 uh, win for the East over the West. Uh, you had, you know, some of the top guys shooting. You had Steph shooting against Sabrina Inescu, who's one of the greatest shooters when it comes to women all time. But the skills challenge, the dunk contest, 
the actual game is not what we want. What can be done, Beef, to, to fix this? Because right now, there's no excitement. Going, We go to, uh, to two years down the line, people are going to be, I don't give a damn it's in L.A. I'm going to be happy because it's the turnups and the parties, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be excited about seeing what All-Star Weekend can bring. I'm going to tell you first, the GS got to open back up. Oh, yeah. Right, we, we need. Well, I, I need the GS Please, opened GS. up in Inglewood because I need to show uh, these out-of-towners how we party and eat good in Inglewood, even yep, though we yep. got the Now Bar and all that. Shout out <laughs> to the Now Bar and all that good stuff. But what needs to be done um, in regards to um, the All-Star, I think they need to start building incentives in the players' contracts mm. as they're getting paid out because there was a rumble that players said they want to get paid more. Okay, I'll pay you more. Just... As you if I more. pay you, you do more, right? If yeah. you necessarily make a first team, you know what I'm saying? You get more incentives in regards to that. You get an MVP award, you get more incentives for that. Mm, like you that. make second team, you get... So, if you participate in a dunk contest, right? You get an incentive. Now, if you... The dunk contest is not your thing, it's not your thing. But, like, for Zion, Ja, it might be a Matthew little bit more. Edwards, yeah. Because we know your athletic ability and stuff like that, Right. Even, um, I would say Westbrook, even though Westbrook is a little bit older, right? Mm -hmm. I, I would just love to see him in a, a dunk contest when he was younger mm -hmm. during his time. That would have been something exciting to see, right? But we won't see that going forward until some incentives is added. Even, for example, even if you're in an All-Star game, you got, you got to score 25 points to hit 250,000. Mm -hmm. At least hit 20 points. You know I what I mean? People wouldn't get off no, the ball. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> like you're saying, it comes down to the players. Like, Players have to have respect for the game. Look at the pass. Look at the left. Michael Jordan competed in how many dunk contests? Well, the, res you know? well, the respect is there for the game. I, I, I never question the respect of the game for, for but, players. No, but for All-Star Weekend, but, I don't but, but, think But no, there. what I do question is their necessary integrity of playing it safe than, you know, yeah. and, and not, not risking injuries or, or not even that. I really consider it a buddy-buddy system Be, because think about it. We had a competitive uh, mm -hmm. advantage when they had the uh, the twenty four point thing for Kobe, we had a good six minutes of nonstop yeah, I don't know competition. Why they let that go. I that don't should know. be added yeah. back. But the competitive is there if you put a certain stipulation on it to yeah. be there. But now since we're on this buddy buddy system, we just stripped that away. We just yeah. back to having mm -hmm. fun. It's like now they just out there just doing normal warm ups at the have YMCA. Players have pride in the game and in the brand, you know. Yeah, and that's why you. The best guys have to be in the dunk contest. That's why the best guys have to come out and play because this is your brand. I know it's, times are different because you have uh, social media and stuff to expand your brand, but guys have to realize this is my respect for the, the Jordans, the Magics, the Kobe's, the Dr. J's who gave their all, competing in everything and playing their hearts out. But we can talk about this <laughs> all damn day because we want to see this All-Star game fixed because before it comes to Inglewood, uh, to the Intuit Dome in 2026. But hey, Clipper fans, we got you covered. I know y'all here, you hear everything Clippers, and we got that for you. So make sure that you guys come back after this break. Hey everyone, I'm Neko Gumake with the LA Sparks, and you are watching Infanity Television. <laughs> A podcast for the fans, by the fans. Dive deep into the topics the other shows miss, raw and uncensored. And he's going to play team ball. His legacy is at stake. Rare, hard-hitting interviews with players, coaches, and you, the super fans. I'm not hating. I'm like, okay, cool. Good. Three championships in five years. He's more than good, bro. Profanity Nation. Listen live or subscribe on your favorite podcast platform.
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chanel Gwimika, and you're watching Infanity Television. Boom. Shout out Infanity Television. This is Juju Watkins. See y'all. Welcome back to the full clip, Clippers Unleashed, baby. Michael Matthew here with you once again. And, of course, I got my guy, Beav, with me. And, Beav, we got to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because last night, you know, we, we, we talked about all-star break. We back from it. But Ooh. last night, the Clippers didn't give us what we expected, you know, from a, a game that, okay, you're facing one of the top teams in the West. You're coming back. It's everybody played. Let's see what you guys can look at like. 129, 107. They were smacked up, you know, and I know it started a little close, you know, at the half it was good, but it didn't end very well. Well, what did you not like about that performance last night against the Oklahoma City Thunder? Mm. I'm going to take a deep breath to, <laughs> to analyze. Um, I didn't like nothing. Oh, okay. Um, and the reason why I didn't like nothing is because you had over a week off basketball to come back till Thursday, mm -hmm. right? Some of y'all didn't even, some of y'all didn't even make the all-star team. Why are you moving out there like you tired? Why are you moving like you don't have it? The only people I tip my hat off to is going to be Kawhi, Norm, and James Harden. Other than that, everybody else was piss poor, right? <laughs> and I, I, I love the whole Clipper roster, but one player that needs to get it together or slow it down, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, you can't be on, driving right. to the hole smoking layups left and right. And then when you smoke a layup, right, mm -hmm. you want to pass it at the most inconvenient time. Go to the rim, strong. Yeah. And PG, you did a piss poor performance. You you didn't do nothing in the <laughs> Oscar game. You put up 13 points. You didn't really do nothing, <laughs> yeah. right? And then you show up in OKC and do and nothing you, again. So what are we yeah. doing? And it, what are we doing? It was tough because your leading scorer was Kawhi with 20. Nobody else could get buckets, oh, especially in that uh. second half. Uh, but for me, defense, you give up 129, like 54 points in the paint for a team that Kawhi Leonard, he always says it, defense, defense, defense. That's what we care about. They didn't play no defense, especially yeah. in that second half. I know that SGA is amazing. That guy can hoop. Jalen Williams can ball. Um, Chet can hoop. But 129, you, you give up your first game Lou back. Dort had 19 points. <laughs> Who? Lou <laughs> Dort. Yeah. If you subtract his 19 points, you win. Like, you let – I expect Williams, right? Yeah, Jalen's or, or, nice. or Giddy or Shea. Yeah. Lou Dort, it was a span, right? Now, I, you know what I'm saying? For anybody up there, I love the game. It was a span on prize picks, literally. He couldn't get over eight points. <laughs> he put up 19 against the Clippers. We yeah. are giving free money out where we shouldn't be giving free money out. Right? You, you, you hear it in my voice because mm -hmm. the reason why I'm so fired up about this game, we were a half a game back from the second seed. Yep. Now we're one whole game back, right? And this this shouldn't have been. You should have been sitting at number two going into, you know, your future game on, on tonight against Memphis, right? Yep. But instead, you're looking at number three. You're literally probably half a game away from slipping to four. Th th you shouldn't be in this predicament as we're looking now. It should have been an easy win. And, again, nothing's really easy yeah. in NBA. But yeah, that it, one's especially not It shouldn't be hard. Yeah. But, but, again, I have faith in the playoffs. Yeah. I, I was just disappointed in the effort on the defensive end because I can understand a little bit. The guys were on break. Some of them dudes probably was in Mexico turning up, having fun, they don't doing mind. different things like that. But the fact that they didn't come out and play on the defensive end because OKC is a team that's going to be in the way. You know, you're going to have to deal with OKC. You're going to have to deal with Minnesota. you got to deal with Denver. They played, Dem uh, they played uh, Minnesota – a couple weeks back before the All-Star break mm -hmm. and get smacked up by 20. Now you play another young team that's there that can be in the way. You get smacked up by 22 points, and uh, you just hope to see a better effort. So I know that Ty Lue was like, damn it, we're going to figure this out tonight. We got Memphis. We better smack up Memphis, but we're going to figure it out. But as a Clipper fan and all the Clipper fan, all the Clipper nation, I know you guys are like, we didn't want to see that first performance out of the break look the way that it did. So I don't know what their schedule looks like, but if they see Oklahoma City again, they got to be ready to go because I feel that this game 
yesterday was uh, slightly embarrassing. Well, you're going to see a different look from the Clippers because going into the next schedule, they haven't played the Bucks, They haven't played the 76ers, but again, they have no Embiid. Yep. And uh, they haven't played an, another Eastern Conference team that's slipping my mind. But if you're looking at it in regards to it, mm -hmm. we're going to see a much tougher schedule finishing off the last 25 games yep. of the season. And you, you got to take advantage of wins where you can take advantage of. Um, even though OKC, I respect them being a young team, you could have easily beat them up. Now, of course, they're at home. It's a whole different energy, different vibe. Mm -hmm. But again, if Kawhi went to the All-Star game, score five points. <laughs> right? He should be ready to go. He, he should be ready to go. PG, you scored 13. You really didn't even break a sweat. You should be ready to go. Everyone else, I don't care if you was turning up in Cabo or whatever <laughs> you was at, right? You didn't have to travel from L.A. to Indiana. Yeah. You didn't have to go from Indiana to OKC. You should be able to necessarily just ball, mm -hmm. just ball. Now you're gonna you're looking at it right. It, it, it's that time of the season. You don't want to be giving up tiebreakers to anybody I because yep. if you're in a situation where it's a tight race and you lost all three matchups to this individual, mm -hmm. it's it's making the playoffs a little harder for you. But again, yeah, I'm on. I'm I'm. You might as well expect y'all might as well expect a whole. <laughs> uh, Clippers series of how I'm going to keep doing this, right? I'm going to always ride PG. Yeah, because he has to. You want to know why? Because PG, this was your, when it was just you and Kawhi, this was your baby, right? Mm -hmm. You say it wasn't enough. You needed a point guard, right? You and Kawhi both said it, right? But again, injuries and all like that stuff happened, right? We get you a point guard. We get Two you. Two of them. We don't know. We, I'm 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 gonna I'm slow walk him into this to this little execution, <laughs> right? We get you Russell Westbrook, right? Russell Westbrook come mid season. Yeah. That wasn't enough, right? So other than we mortgage futures and and all that type of stuff, and then we bring you James Harden. Yep. And, and I don't see the scoring going up like that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna just be quite frank with you. If the Clippers are gonna go, of course the Clippers don't go unless Kawhi go. Yep. The Clippers are not gonna go unless James Harden is right behind Kawhi. And then the next person in in line is going to be Norman Powell. It's sad to say, but Russ and PG, I don't see them as the go getters no more. They're too hey, streaky. But they they too have streaky. to figure it out because PG is a vital vital piece. We talked about on it last defense week. on defense Man, at least. Offense. We talked about it last week. If PG isn't the PG that is an all star that we know, this team is not going to win the championship. I'm gonna get PG. I'm gonna get and PG. I asked for PG yeah. of the O, right? Hey, they, I'm, I'm getting more than the I'm getting the OKC version of PG. They, hey, they they need something so that they can figure it out. But hey, we got more for you when it comes to the Clippers because we want to kind of look at it. What's a good scenario for the ending of the season for the Clippers, and what will be the worst scenario for them? So make sure you guys come back here with the full clip. Clippers unleash. Hey everyone, I'm Neko Gumake with the LA Sparks, and you are watching Infinity Television. A podcast for the fans, by the fans. Dive deep into the topics the other shows miss, raw and uncensored. And he's going to play team ball. His legacy is at stake. Rare, hard-hitting interviews with players, coaches, and you, the super fans. I'm not hating. I'm like, okay, cool. Good. Three championships in five years. He's more than good, bro. Profanity Nation. Listen live or subscribe on your favorite podcast platform.
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chanel Gwimika, and you're watching Infanity Television. Boom. Shout out Infanity Television. This is Juju Watkins. See y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. We got more for you here. Full clip. Clippers Unleashed. Michael Beef. So, Beef, yeah. we, uh, Clippers coming off that L. But we want to we wanna move forward. So, let's go good clips, bad clips. Good clips. Um, what would be the best scenario to end this season off for the Clippers? For you, the Super Clipper fan, mm -hmm. uh, Beef, what would be the best scenario for the Clippers to finish off this season? I'm thinking... I'm thinking, number one, see if we can. Okay. Right? Like uh, you know, I always think, you know, in, in my mind, my fantasy world, the Clips universe, um, I do expect them to be the number one seed if they possibly can. Yeah. But uh, that, I don't know if my fantasy is going to get uh, lived if they keep playing piss poor. Yeah. But uh, I definitely would, would love to finish as the number one seed on top of the Western Conference Finals. Um, in regards to and, that. and I think for them to do that, because I think you're right, like they're right there, you know, they're not like the Lakers where the Lakers are like 9, 10, to where they're just hoping to try to get in the top six. They're a team that's fighting that could possibly be the number one seed in the West. I'm going to get real disrespectful. That, that they, when we, from, from here on now, when we talk about the Lakers on the show, yeah. consider them as my stepbrother. All right? I, or my, the my, big stepbrother or no, little stepbrother? Little stepbrother. Because <laughs> if, if you're looking at the standings right now, I keep stepping on them as I'm climbing up. So oh, that's how we're going to look at the Lakers right now. We be just, nice. Be nah. nice. But, uh, Hell no. So, so back to a good scenario for them. Like you said, number one seed. But I think it's Kawhi playing at an MVP level, staying healthy. To where him rolling into the playoffs, he's looking like the Kawhi that helped the Raptors mm. win a championship. We just ended the last break talking about Paul George. He is in his bag playing some very good basketball as mm. they roll over. Then you have guys like Norman Powell continuing to play well. Hell, Norman Powell can be the Sixth Man of the Year award winner. So having a guy like that continue in the way, because even though he lost yesterday, he was knocking down shots and he continues to do so. I would just say this. You said yeah. you said one key word that it, it goes around, not just for the Clippers, but any team, right? Yeah. It's health. Yep. Health is going to set you free. Health is going to necessarily dictate where you're at. Yes, I'm, I want to compete for first. Why? Because I have home court advantage throughout mm -hmm. the whole playoffs. But what does it matter? I eventually have to go on the road mm -hmm. as the playoffs take, take off. So... Yes, the home crowd and all that stuff plays a big role. But if you look at the Clippers overall, right, do the Clippers really have a home court? But I, I do think... And, and crypto... No, I'm just saying... No, no, and, yeah. and I, until, until Intuit is done, no, right? Yeah. But this crypto, is L.A. This, this L.A. You know how L.A. is. If, if you... If you it, LA, if they're the only team in the playoffs, L.A. is showing up. And, they turning it up for the Clippers I, because... I highly doubt it, right? I, hope, I, I, I highly doubt it, but, Okay. We can we can be the last great hope, and everybody be sitting there trying to hold on. I, I'm gonna be right there with them, right on fig, like we made it. But it really boils down to health. Yeah. And, and I, I can sit here and, and harp about how much good and great that I want the Clippers to do, right? But mm -hmm. um, it really relies on health, and it relies on on, on the mental. Yep. Because uh, if your mental's not there, you have defensive lapses that you had during last night's game against uh, OKC, right? So yeah. I, I need better. Mental from them, and the health is there right now. So, like yeah. Draymond said in the previous interview, he said, you know what? The Clipper, <laughs> he said the Clippers got everything they got. They, yeah. they got everything they need, right? They have stars on their team right now. Yeah, they got I, everything. No, nah, they, 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 this, the, this is the main contribution. Mm -hmm. Kawhi already has a championship. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw, he's going in the Hall of Fame as Kawhi Leonard a champion, right? Yeah. Not just the Spurs, but the Raptors. But I have three more people. That need them. Legacy is riding on it. Yep. You got to be hungry for it. Because I, James Harden, I can have all these individual acclimates, right? But when it boils down to it as a team, what do you have? Yeah. Westbrook, what do you have? And that's why championships matter. So that's why I think if we could see them, I think that home court advantage for them will be great. Because they can sleep in their own beds. You don't got to be in Denver dealing with all of, you know, that with playing in Denver. A team like OKC, if they can have home court, that helps them. Minnesota, their confidence, especially at home, is that much better. So if they can somehow be number one, that's that meaning that Kawhi is balling, PG's balling, uh, Norm is doing his thing. That means that Zubac and those guys are playing. Uh, 
Zubac and those guys are playing good basketball. Uh, Russ off the bench is playing some good basketball. Man, Russ better get and, it together, man. And Ty Lue is going to be up there to try to, you know, possibly get a Coach of the Year award and things like that. So so that that's going to be big, and that's what I think the good clips will look like. But bad clips. What will bad clips, what will have to happen? And, of course, we know if bad health hurts this team, it'll come back to bite them. It's what we've seen all um, – uh, Throughout the history of the Clippers, pretty much, especially mm -hmm. recently, injuries have hurt them. But is there anything on the court that can go bad for this Clipper team to not look like what we all expect them to be? Piss poor performance. Okay. Um, you see the log jam is currently taking place for, uh, you know, one through four. Mm -hmm. um, if all those fails, they slide to four. Now we're looking at, you know, a four versus five matchup when it comes to the playoffs. And... That's not gonna really favor the Clippers in the long run. Um, they're they're built to last, but who wants to grind like that? Yeah, who 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 wants to grind it out in the first round? You probably seeing Dallas, or, Dallas Phoenix. or Phoenix, and you know Luca has like a a whole you know uh, Pope Fiction type of thing. No, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kill Kill Bill type of thing. When yeah, you see him, dun, 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 yeah. soon as you see him, he <laughs> dropping sixty. <laughs> like you you don't want to necessarily go through nah, yeah. those type of rigors in it. Um, I would just say the Clippers doesn't don't execute and play defense. That's where you're really gonna see a bad clip. But I, I, again, all right, I don't want to focus on the bad. No, oh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I really want to well, harp on good clip. <laughs> I, I honestly hey. want to change the segment to good clip, good clip, hey, right? I, I'm gonna focus on the bad because bad. Sometimes bad things happen, and you just don't want to see them lose that chemistry that they had. You don't want to see them go on like a you know a five game losing streak. Because with these type of egos that they have on that roster, who knows if they go through another spell, how they started off after the hard move, how, you know, things will look, especially if the teams are just jumping ahead of them and kind of creating some space. And then if, I think it's certain matchups they don't want to be, like, close to seeing in a playoff. I really don't think they want to see the Lakers in the first round. I think they, they want to stay far away from a matchup with Minnesota I'm a, in the first I'm a, round. I'm going to tell you right now, ain't nobody scared of the Lakers. Uh, oh, I'm gonna tell you, we 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 play fools gold every year. If you if you if you look at the record overall, Lakers <laughs> versus Clippers, the Clippers pretty much own the Lakers. No, but, yeah. But 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 you know, I, I I prefer in regards to it being good clip, good clip, because I I, I don't want to hear too much about bad clip, but, right? B, we we know sometimes you know bad bad things just happen, and I'm just saying that if the bad things do happen, what it could look like, and for me, I believe that it can be, of course, the health. But then it can be guys not stepping up. We saw the struggles Russ had uh, yesterday. Maybe those struggles continue. PG, what if PG doesn't figure it out? And I think something like that can plummet this team. If he don't figure it out, you know who's going to figure it out for him? <laughs> who is that? Mr. Cool Shoes, PJ Tucker. We can bring him in and just and have him out there just running cardio since PG just want to run cardio yeah, too. But hey, I, we, we, let's take it back. I, I know this word is kind of outrageous, right? Yeah. Let's have him run suicides. Right, because that's yeah. clear. That's what you want to do, <laughs> right? I, I don't even want to look at it. Yeah, as bad clip, right? But you but have you have to remember that sometimes be, it's the Clippers, man. No, sometimes no, that's like what you that really want to say. <laughs> and saying that on this set is not even welcome anymore, yeah. right? Hey. It's not the Clippers, man. But hey, you just make sure that you have your eyes out on the Clipper Nation. We expect all the greatness of it. That's why we're following this team so closely. But bad things can happen. Uh, but we got some matchups. We got the matchup tonight at Memphis. Then Sunday, they back at home. They got the Kings next week. Next Wednesday, they got the Lakers. And then we'll be back with you next Friday uh, to talk about, you know, what's going down with the Clippers. But before we leave, I sure. give a shout out to a old OG Clipper, Eric Podkowski, one of the original shooters for the Clippers. Uh, PG just passed him. The last game for the most threes of all time. But I just wanted to show him love. You remember Eric P. Right? Yeah, man, I remember pulling up from the three point line before the three point line was really the three point yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, you know trigger. I mean? He was a quick, quick trigger. Quick trigger, man. Quick trigger. Quick trigger. So, hey, Clipper fans, we got you covered. Make sure that you guys are with us every week. Michael B. Full Clip. Clippers Unleashed. We got it all. Everything Clippers for you, baby. Let's go, Clips.